Buenos días, campeones. Buenos días, campeones. Buenos días, campeones. Welcome to our show. Buenos días, campeones. 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 Who it is, everybody? It's Mr. Mitchell. He's our first guest on our show. Wait, which side am I on? You're right there. So if we That's not oh. true. You well, just pointed at me, sir. But on Wait, so am I looking at you now? Yeah. So look. Now we're looking I'm looking at, at Kyle. Kyle. So if I and and Jesse's over there? No, he's down. So you would look down the other direction. Yep. Now you're looking that way. And, and Jesse, if you look up that direction, then you would be looking right, no, the other way. Now you're looking right at Kyle. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> we I'll, figured this out. I'm so glad we figured that out. We're making magic right now for everyone. You guys chat for a second. I got to go get a ukulele. Okay. What do you think he's going to do with the ukulele? <laughs> What do you guess? Probably cook eggs. If I had to guess, it would be cook eggs. Wait. Only if he does it with bacon. <laughs> Wait, no, that's a spatula. Ukulele. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the stringy one. I always get spatulas and ukuleles mixed up. I don't know why. Like, in class, every time. I do it every day. Yeah, if somebody every asks me the spatula. Oh, there it is. Oh. I got my ukulele hat, too. I didn't even know they You're made those. A regular Jake Shimabukoro. <laughs> uh, what do you say? What do you hey, think? Hey, you look him up, Jesse. You look him up. <laughs> Mr. Mitchell. That was perfect. That was perfect just then. All right. <laughs> Should we sing the morning mission song? Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Sing along, uh, little friends and big friends, all, all the friends. I know a place where I can be great. I can build a better me. Every single day I'd invest to legion. We imagine, we nurture, we value, we engage, sustain and transform as we champion opportunities in leadership and learning, embracing greatness, inspiring. Achievement all within a telescopic environment. In this collegiate Imagine! Nice. All right. Well, let's actually get into it here. Welcome to the show, everybody. Uh, Mr. Mitchell, how has your first day of uh, this reality going for you? It's been interesting. Uh, you know, uh, we, we uh, just trying to get the kiddos into their schooling while we're doing our work. It's been a whirlwind, um, but we're almost through the day. And um, I do, I think the disclaimer is that only a few animals may have been hurt or passed away uh, during the, uh, transition here at our household besides that it's been great so no no, no animals passed away actually no animals were hurt either they weren't uh, that was completely not true i was gonna say normally the disclaimer is no animals were harmed in the making of this video mm -hmm. but it sounds like you're saying some animals may have possibly been harmed uh that is completely conjecture and speculation um and if you roll back the tapes you'll actually see that i did not say that just a second ago unless i did fair enough Fair enough. <laughs> Did you, uh, Mr. Mitchell is our special guest today because he has some things that he would like to share with all of Ice and Imagine. So would you like to share? Yeah, yeah. So uh, the three truths, right? No, no, not yet. 
Oh, whoa, it's whoa, not that one. Slow your Sorry. Roll. That's our special. Yeah. Uh, uh, serious. serious. Uh, so from the counseling corner, um, we um, have a lower school. Um, actually, that's not true. Lower school is not doing that. Uh, from middle and upper school, <laughs> we, we are rolling out a Google Classroom. And um, most students should have gotten invites today if you are um, sixth through 12th grade. Um, and right now, um, there are at least four to five assignments that each student must do every day. And if you don't do them, uh, or if you fail an assignment, it's no big deal. You're just not going to go on to the next grade. Um, no, no, hold on. That's not what we we're talking about either. Uh, we're posting some things on there that we just want you guys to be aware of, mostly self-care and uh, there is no obligation actually. We um, really are hoping that you'll take some time to uh, peruse through what we've put on there and um, uh, think about how to take care of yourself uh, in this new situation environment that we are currently in. And that ultimately means um, making sure that you get your work done, but taking care of yourself while you're doing it. Um, and there's just a lot of information and how to navigate that um, work-life balance when you're stuck and confined inside the walls of your space or home. So I feel like what you're saying is that these times that we're living in right now sometimes feel maybe a little bit uncomfortable or unstable and uh, counseling corner and the classroom that you've created is something that, you know, maybe could offer some help for some students that if you're feeling uncomfortable or unsure about how the world is going, uh, you guys just want to be available for them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we want to be available for that. And then all of us um, as the counseling team are working through what guidelines and regulations we need to do to be able to um, uh, ensure confidentiality, like the things that we speak about with our students um, to the most that we can. Um, and uh, we're kind of getting some information from the powers that be before that really, really rolls out. Um, but if uh, you need to check in with your counselor right now, a good way to do that would just be to um, send your counselor an email. And um, uh, we're working on ways to set up uh, what those check-ins would look like after that. Cool. So, Mr. Mitchell, what would you say are like some of the most helpful things that our students can be doing right now to take care of themselves and make sure they're doing what they're supposed to do? Well, sure. I'll, I'll give you a real little rundown. Like since self-care is the thing that we're really, really focusing on, self-care starts with the idea that ultimately you are responsible for yourself. Uh, no matter how old you are, uh, what grade you're in, um, everything that you choose to do is what you're going to do, and everything you choose not to do is what you're not going to do. And uh, when we're outside of the realm of uh, traditional school, so everything that uh, has to be done now um, is going to take a little bit more motivation um, on your part. Um, it's something that we need to be aware of. We need to be honest with ourselves about. And then um, the breaks that you might take might actually look a little different. I mean, there are some really good things about it. So if you're sitting in uh, your classroom, you know, for your 45 minute segments of classes that we do normally, um, you have to ask permission to take a break. Well, we're now at a place where you don't have to do that. And um, there are some really good things about that, unless you're that person that would take a break and then not go back to your work. So the self-care piece is uh, really focused on, yeah, like you, Mr. Higgins, focused on, uh, like you, Mr. Higgins, focused on um, how we, we do what works for us. So we, uh, step one, it's 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 your responsibility to be in charge of you step two you got to figure out what works and once you figure out what works step three is you got to follow through with it so um it doesn't mean that um self-care would be uh playing video games all day because that's what you like to do um it means that you have to find that work um downtime balance and when left to our own devices that can be really really challenging and that's really challenging for me too i'm so distracted i need my workspace and i don't have it so 
I think that's uh, that you know uh, we're all working through that uh, through that scenario. Cool. Well, thank you, thank you. I think uh, is it is it time for a game, Mr. Higgins? Is it... I believe it is time for a game that we like to call Two Truths, One Lie. Here's the way this game works. Our guest, in this case, old Senior Mitchell down there, he is going to tell us three things. Two of them are absolutely true about him. One of them is a lie, and it's up to me and Mr. Barton to figure out which one the lie is. I think we should make it up to you, the people at home, to send us a little message telling us what you think was the lie, and then tomorrow mm -hmm. in the morning meeting, we'll tell you which one it was. And who you know, I like that even better. That's even better. Engagement. Engagement. <laughs> all right. Uh, story number one, Mr. Mitchell. All right. All right. So I'm telling you guys three truths, right? Um, <laughs> truth one. Unbeknownst to many an individual, I started my working career fairly early. I actually had my first job at nine years old. And uh, it was my first paying job. And I, I um, went from that job. I, uh, I had that job until I was 14, where I moved into my next job. And um, uh, basically have been working since then. Uh, I, I, just, I just never stopped. Um, so I am a, I'm a lifelong worker. Um, but, but the funny thing, though, is that uh, I, I don't really like working. But, but I just do it anyways. All right, second truth, second truth. My favorite color is green. Uh, third truth, third truth. Um, I, um, oh, what was my third truth? Ah, so me and Miss Mitchell, uh, we got to spend some time on some movie sets when we were younger. And uh, we actually, we were down in uh, the Francis Marriott National Park uh, during the filming of The Patriot with Mel Gibson and Heath Ledger. And while we were there, uh, Heath Ledger made it pretty obvious that he thought Miss Mitchell, who, you know, wasn't my wife at the time, but is now, was cute. He thought, he, and, and I was trying to play it like really cool. I was like, I'm not gonna let this guy know. But in my head, I'm like, kind of freaking out because there's this famous guy that thinks my, you know, my, my girlfriend was cute and I didn't like it. Um, but I, I didn't let him know. I didn't tell him that. I, 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 I didn't actually, I, that was it. It was just all in my head, but it was like serious and real at that time. And I was scared. <laughs> all right. So three. so three things. So it's up to you guys to let Barton and I know which is the, what you think is the lie. Either started working at nine years old, his favorite color is green, or got to spend time on movie sets and Heath Ledger was a little threatening towards an early relationship between Mr. and Mrs. Mitchell. Wait, hold on, none of those things sound like me. I was supposed to say things that were true about me? <laughs> it's, it's called two truths and a lie, yeah. That's how oh, 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 not, uh, not three lies? <laughs> There he is. That's okay. Mr. Mitchell. <laughs> All right. So I missed that whole conversation. It, it completely cut out. But it's cool. It doesn't matter. I'm sure it was fun. <laughs> All right. All right. We're going to wrap up this, this uh, morning meeting. Uh, there are two things that, uh, that our administration has asked us to pass on to you, friends. Uh, first thing, uh, they said, if you would, please make sure that you're checking into attendance for every single one of your classes throughout the day so that we know that you're with us, that you're doing what we would like for you to do, uh, the virtual uh, school. Uh, and then number two, uh, real important, if you have any questions or are having trouble figuring out what you need to figure out, uh, shoot an email to your teachers, message your teachers. Um, they're out there waiting for those emails and trying to help you be successful. So, so just I've been sitting here, like just sitting here all day. I started a puzzle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just waiting for the, some. the emails from students. I mean, I did a little self-care. You know, here, guys, take a look at what I did. You ready for this? You ready for this? I don't know if I am. Hold on. I think you are. How, how many pieces was your puzzle? 
a thousand. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. crazy. I won't I won't do anything more than twelve. Look, oh yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boop, boop. Little yoga. Doing the work. And this is not time lapse. This is how fast I did my yoga today. <laughs> Some rapid <laughs> yoga. Yeah. Super speed yoga. Excellent. Oh, that's interesting. Our images are switched around now, just so you know. So if I want to look, Higgins, you've got to look up uh, and to your right to see Mr. Mitchell. Yep, there he is. And Ms. Mitchell, you've got to look down to your, yep, there you go. Perfect. Uh, yep, and I'm right there. Yep. All right. All right. We're going to wrap this meeting up. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Hey, tomorrow, if you are in lower school, I would like for you to wear a ukulele hat or some kind of cool hat while you're watching our morning meeting video and send us a picture of you wearing the hat. So yeah, all right. Thanks everybody for joining us and uh, hope you have a good evening and uh, rest of your